Okay, hang tight. I'm getting ready. You know, it's one of those days where so much is happening so early in the morning. <laughs> Got up. Uh, Cynthia is, I think she has the flu. And so I've been wearing my face mask. <laughs> I've been wearing my face mask and doing the whole on guard, uh, uh, oregano. I mean, you guys must think I'm nuts, but when have you heard me say, I have, I'm going to knock on some wood, but when have you heard me say in the last like nine years, I have the flu? I have not said that, right? So I've been doing my little regimen, and some people might think I'm a, a nutcase, but I wear a face mask, I'll put my oregano, I'll drop it on my tongue, rub it around. If it's too strong, I get some something with oil in it to get it down into my system. I'll put frankincense on my feet. I uh, put On Guard on my chest. I mean, Cynthia was projectile vomiting yesterday all day. And, you know, number two, bad. Like, it was a bad day for her. And uh, today she was supposed to take Meadow, her dog, in for a dental cleaning. So I had to rearrange everything to go d do the dental cleaning, drop off at 7 in the morning. Get I got my sake here. I brought in my client a little early. I got here. I set up the YouTube. So uh, we are going to see. You know, how, you know how, how those days go, right? You're just going a mile a minute. You're like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, there's so much to do. And then they tell me I have to pick Meadow up at noon, which I have a groom. It, it, you know how you know what I'm talking about when you have those kinds of mornings you're like what so that I could and then I have my own doctor appointment so I'm like oh, okay could anything else happen you know like I hope you guys have friends that can help you like I'm helping Cynthia because I I look at Cynthia and go how how would all she would have had to cancel lost her twenty dollar deposit and then it takes two or three months to get in for the dental cleaning at this specific veterinarian that's low cost so. I really hope you make friends along the way, friends that you can count on, friends you can call up and say, can you help me? And that they do show up to help. So God be with you and your re relationships that you've developed and made and make sure you have those friends that you take care of. Because if you don't, uh, who's going to be there? No, honestly, I'm driving around like a nutcase this morning thinking, would anybody else be doing these kinds of things? I'm going to try to get Saki on the table for a few minutes and see what I can do with her before my real groom comes in. Okay, so let's go with Saki for just a minute, okay? Because I've been like, and she's getting into like eight years old maybe. Are you like eight? I don't like to count. I don't like to count, man. But so I got her. Uh, I think she was born around July 10th, 2011. She was like a drop-off kind of dog. So I picked her up, and that's when I think she was born. And I picked her up and adopted her September 4th, 2011. So she was like months old at that point. Um, so because I think she was born, so she's like two months old. I think she was born around July 10th, 2011. So how was that, nine months? That's nine, how many, eight years? So she's like eight. So I don't like to count. the. Di I don't like to count. And I don't like to look back either and count the birthdays that I can't do it. So once you lose your first dog, you realize I can't keep crying every year. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to face that. So I don't really count the years like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't count. I don't count the years like that. If someone says, how old are you? I got to go check. Okay. All right. Stay there, Saki. Let's get you kind of something, something. So in between, so this is what you do when you're a groomer. Maybe this is what you do when you do your own dogs, but. I need to hustle bustle before my client walks in or I'm not going to get nothing done. So you work your dogs in, right? You get them groomed. And then I honestly, like I tell you guys, I never blow dry my dogs. I let them air dry because I feel like their heart is already, small dogs, hearts already have an option, uh, like an opportunity to be enlarged. If you have a small dog and you've had a heart dog with an enlarged heart, I've seen it a lot with small dogs. So I try not to do too much uh, that I know will pound that heart like boom 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 I don't like to do that okay get your face mask your gloves your shoe covers hey baby girl okay first thing I'm gonna do is trim up her face here I'll put this way you gotta hold her head tight too because she will move and sprint it off I wanna get this cleared up she does not like the clippers around her face so I've learned that 
And I do love this hairy look that I got her doing. She, I love the hairy stuff. It was like, more. she's really hairy. And so I started noticing it like getting on her nerves. So like her jerking her head around and saying like, this is in my face. You know, I could see that. So let's just get some of this out of the way here. But since I like this wild stuff, but I understand, you know, it's getting caught in her mouth and stuff. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on a second. Mary, hey, give me one second. Sure. Okay, it's not going to work. All right, so now we got to switch out. See, I told you. You just got to get in what you can. Okay, here we go. We'll be right back. All right, Saki, you're back. Wait for mommy. There you go. Wait for me, okay? guys know Max. So Max had an ear infection a few days ago, I guess, and she just told me that he went to the veterinarian, and the veterinarian said, make sure your groomer plucks his ear hair. And I just told her, Max doesn't have ear hair. <laughs> it's Okay, do you hear what I just said? <laughs> He's got the uh, telesco te telescope thing. There's This dog doesn't have ear hair. It makes you wonder. This breed doesn't have ear hair in the ear canal. True. What you take talking about? Okay, we are doing everything, and she missed this last appointment because you know Christmas and everything, holidays. She's out of town, so she said, "Dee, you might find some mats and stuff." And I'm thinking, "Oh, great, right?" And I'm thinking in my head, remember how we went through that lowdown where me, David, and the mom brushed him for three hours? You remember that? And I'm thinking in my head, remember that? And I didn't say anything, but I'm thinking, if he's got a mat, I am shaving it out. We're not going to go through this dematting thing. That's me, because we have some history there. Okay, do I have all my lights on? Okay, he's got a little bit of static, so I'm going to go leave-in conditioner, just a tad with my favorite spray bottle. So because you have ear infection, you're going to notice that there's uh, there'll be heaviness here. And you can see, you can see like the heaviness here of oil from the medicines and maybe even get it matted in there. So we want to make sure we really get that good. I'm going to check some stuff over with my comb. Yeah, I know, Max. I know, buddy. And I'm dread. I'm kind of dreading it, man. If we're matted here, I'm going to be, uh -uh. it's not going to be a good day. So she missed it, the last appointment, because she's in every two weeks, mandatory. Because if you don't brush him, man, he gets really, really out of shape. Let me move you guys over just a tad hair here. What's up, YouTube? What's up, you guys? Smash the like button. Comment. Say hi. You know, thanks for watching. And if you can, share. Hit the share button. It's right next to the uh, live chat button. So many people complain, you know, had complained about you always shave the dog. Well, this dog never gets shaved. And even that matted dog, when he was matted, he didn't even get shaved at that point. Some people that you guys got to protect me out there because some of those people don't watch the channel all the time. They don't know half the stuff that goes on, do they? They can watch one show and get upset when they don't really know what happened. They don't have all the facts. And so we didn't shave them that time, right? Three hours, three people. Three hours, three people brushing nonstop. Did we take a break? No. Did I rest my hand? No. Three hours. 
three hours. And those people who always complain about, you always shave the dog. So there we go. We didn't shave them that day. And then I had people complaining, I can't believe you brushed them that long. You know, you can't p please everybody, can you? That's why, you know what we did? We had mom here. Mom was one of the three people, one of the three people for three hours brushing the dog. You know what I'm saying? If you, don't, if you didn't watch that, um, I don't have to go find the video, but I think if you just type in Catan, C-O-T-O-N, my favorite groomer, Catan, on the search engine, you're going to find that video. Everyone's always got something to complain about, right? Even me, man. If I'm in traffic, you're going to hear me complaining. I'm going to tell you about it. I do not like some traffic. So I'm using my large bristle brush. I've got a comb here next to me. A brush and a comb go hand in hand. I got some gloves on, which I can't believe I was grooming for, you know, what, 14, 15 years, no gloves. Can't believe it. Now I can avoid splinters. So she got back from uh, out of town, and she says she worked on a Max. She's been double timing it to try to avoid Matt, me running into any matting. Which, you know, if I have a dog for an hour, right, maybe an hour and 10 minutes, maybe an hour and 15, can I double time it? No, I can't double time it. Like, if there's a lot of work, then it's only, you can only do what you can in an hour. So we had kind of, I checked all this, right? I wanted to make sure we go through it all. So there are some mats. Some minor matting and then if that's what you use this D mat tool but the color I sell now is different so make sure you have a D mat tool now if I could just spin him around so you can see I'm gonna D mat a couple things here oh for my physical therapy Melissa P thank you for your donation thank you for your donation thank you for your donation Melissa P to my favorite groomer clap 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 thanks Melissa P boy my voice is squeaky Oh, gosh. So I talked to this lady yesterday. She was so... Oh, I didn't talk to her. I texted her. She texted me, Didi, you know, I just found your channel because I've been in bed with bronchitis for a few days, and I found your channel, and I've been watching it. And she uh, told me she had bronchitis and all this, right? Got not feeling good. And I just said, this is what I do to try to avoid getting sick, you know? And she goes, do you sell the oregano? And I was like, yeah, do you not know she went and bought that oregano for me last night? So I got to get that out to her today. So I told her for me, what I do with the oregano, I put it in a little shot, like it's a little shot glass. It's glass, right? So it doesn't eat up the, any toxins in plastic or styrofoam. And I put the, a t it's all, you can only handle like two or three drops, two or three drops of oregano inside, um, glass and I shake it up with uh, cranberry juice and I just have that in my fridge if I come home and I'm feeling like I was around a lot of sick people people were coughing in the grocery store if I feel like I got a little scratchy throat coming on I just drink most half of that half of the oregano and cranberry and boy you know it is really helpful and um, if since Cynthia since I'm staying with Cynthia right now if she ends up having the flu and I don't get the flu oh my gosh it'll be a, a godsend but, but she's also, you have to be aware, if you're living with someone sick and you can possibly make sure you guys kind of stay away from each other, that's different, right? You're able to kind of protect yourself. But I'm still walking around the house with my diffuser on with On Guard on there. On Guard, Oregano, Peppermint, Malaluca, I have a bunch of things going on in my bedroom and in the living room of her house so that she can make sure, I make sure she gets some of that On Guard in her system. I mean... But I'm already, like, proactive about not, not wanting to get sick. I think most people, especially like David, he'll walk around, he don't care. He'll, like, go to the buffet line and still use his fingers to eat. You know what I'm saying? Where the utensils, everyone's touched them. I'm not like that. I'll, if I go through the buffet line, I'm either, not, which is, a, you know, I don't go through the buffet line very often. But 
if I go through the buffet line, I am not using my hands to do nothing. I'm going to go wash my hands before I eat, or I'm, not, I'm just going to use the silverware and then call it a day. So it is, it is like flu season. So, And you know what? Cynthia got the flu shot. And when she got the flu shot, I told her, I said, I haven't had the flu shot in a long time. I said, every time I get the flu shot, I get sick. I used to. And I think it's been, I have to go call my doctor, but I think it's like nine years I haven't gotten the flu shot. Watch someone get me in trouble for that, too. You haven't got the flu shot. You're supposed to get the flu shot. But I haven't been sick with the flu in a long time. But you have to be proactive. Like, you have to make sure if you're standing next to somebody sneezing and coughing and, <clears throat> and, and I would rather say, I'm not going to shake your hand. You just coughed in it. If you're doing those kinds of things, then you're, you're bound to just run into the bacteria that you wouldn't normally have gotten into, right? How many of you guys out there sick right now? Stomach flu. Well, I'm wondering if that's what she had, because she had like every, uh, the, the in the out of everything so far. Is it still like the flu though? That's the thing, is like how many strands of flu can you get a shot for anyway? How many strands of flu are out there now? How, how, how much stronger did the flu get over, you know, over time? Where's my uh, leave-in conditioner spray? Ooh, look at all this hair. Can you guys see this? Look at this. Here. Look at this hair, you guys. Oh, yeah, we should hairspray that. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're really, I got to get a picture of this. Oh, yeah, you're really looking like Dee Dee now. Oh, yeah. Max looking like Dee Dee now. Let me get this picture. Look at me. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. You're looking good now. Oh, yeah. This looks like Dee Dee's spiked hair, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, buddy. Let's get you worked out here. I'm kind of seeing what you're saying. Not Lena, I can't imagine. That's why I was like, the other, was it yesterday? I'm laying there thinking, if I worked at a hospital, what would I do? I told Cynthia, I said, Cynthia, don't come out of your room. <laughs> you know, okay, I didn't say that. But I said, well, I'm going to try not to get sick. So don't do this and this and this. And when I got home, I vacuumed. And then I've Cloroxed the whole house where I thought she might have been that morning, yesterday morning, because it started yesterday morning. And, like, I did the doorknobs, you know what I mean? I still went in there and gave her some Pedialyte and water. I still hooked her up. But I was really conscious about what I was touching and how often I was touching. I washed my hair like 30 times last night, you know. So I really hope I try to avoid it. And then the best thing you can do is just try to keep the house clean, right? Keep the air clean and what you're, you both share in the same air. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you have to, you have to. If I just didn't care and I just did, was, you know, careless about it, then I would definitely get sick and then I would have to write it out. I don't want to get sick is the problem. And getting sick will take me and my business down a notch for a minute and I can't afford that as far as time and and my energy, I don't like to get sick. There, when I used to get the flu shot, I would get the flu like two, uh, I would get the flu two to three times that year when I got the flu shot. And I was like, this is not working for me. One time it was really, really bad. And I was like, I'm making the call, man. I'm not doing, I'm gonna try to test it next year. If I don't get the flu shot, do I get sick? You know, I did not get sick. I was like, what was I thinking? Military requirements, you know what I'm saying? I would love a cup of tea, Tsakufan. Tasukifan. Oh, Tasukifan. If the, is that a, a Turkish name or? That's exactly what I did, D T Tracy. That's exactly what I did. I had some Clorox wipes. You know, the bundle you get from Costco that lasts six years. I got those out. Okay, now this is going to be, you got to help me out here, buddy. Okay, let's do this. Let's move that out of the way as we start to work down this weird area here. These ears are going to be something else, man, right here. All this from the ear infection fluid. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's huge. There's a huge mat here. That's why it's so thick here. Okay. I say I'm not going to demat, but you know I'm not going to be lazy about it as much as I can. Or cause pain for, you know what I mean? Little by little, and I mean, I could get easily get overwhelmed. Like, where do you even start? Well, you start that line you just drew right there. And because he's, it lets me do this. If he wasn't fighting it, can you imagine doing cotton, cotton like this? He would not let me do this like this. He doesn't have the patience for it. So then that groom changes, right? See right here, this is overwhelming, so I'm going to pull that back because I mean, they're trying to do too much at one time. The ear comes completely separate. This side of the face right here because of that uh, waxy stuff from the ear. Don't do the whole ear yet, just do this, this piece right here. Uh -uh. Learn how to be firm because this is tools that can cut your eyeball. Okay, these are tools that can cut you. So if you don't like the direction of firmness, then this is not a channel for you. And bear, believe it or not, I'm barely I'm touching the skin here. It's just touching the hair. Grab that, and the teeth are uh, angled. So you got a little hook going on. So you don't have to hit the skin every time. You just need to grab that hair though. Okay, bear with me, buddy. Yep, you run into those knots, you got to get your D-mat breaker here. Okay, hold on, buddy. Come around all the side of the face. If you're getting, like, overwhelmed, pull it back. You're doing so good, Max. The dog has to let you do all this, Not right? And not every dog's going to let you do this, okay? It takes regular brushing. And, I mean, we're talking, what, five years now? I've been grooming you five years or what? Every two weeks? For the most part. That's a long time. That means... On top of that, the mom is brushing at home. Can you imagine? That's a lot of time brushing. So your dog better be used to it. You don't want to brush, but once or twice a year is not going to have the same effect. It's not going to be the same dog, okay? It's just real reality. Again, barely even touch that skin or touch it at all, okay? It's hard to explain. You just got to start doing it, and you'll realize what I'm talking about. Use the corner of your brush, not the whole thing, in certain areas like this, obviously. You can see me just using that corner of the brush. I got a good hold on the hair, though. Hold on, we'll do this other side. See how I broke that in half? Just like you do when you get a perm, they'll cut your head and the hair in like four different segments. Same thing. This is called dematting, okay? Those of you guys with y'all with hating, this is called dematting, okay? Something I don't like to do. But we only got one, one major spot here. I'm just going to help it out. Shaving is just not going to do us any good unless we shave the whole body, okay? Okay, yeah, we're looking good. So you can tell when we when a coat's brushed, can't you? You can tell if it's been brushed. Got some food in there. He's on a different diet because he has a very sensitive stomach. It took her like two, two, three years to find out the right food to get. He's on some kind of dehydrated something, something.
Yeah, it's going to cost extra to do the dematting. Why wouldn't it? If it requires more time and you know how to do it without hurting the dog and brush burning, I mean, I think that all that every every situation is different. It requires more time. It depends on how bad it is, too. But for a groomer that I say, I don't want to demat at all, you know, if you run into some dematting, then you have to say, okay, well, let's charge by the minute. It's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, look this way. Look this way. You got me a bit over here. So look this way. see up here good good let me see well I need somebody to just count the brush strokes when I do him Count the brush strokes. Okay, hold on, let's see here what we got. Look up. Look up. Oh my goodness. Let me look over here. Let me see. up got some serious mats up in here I mean I hate to shave that out because if you shave it out too uh, in certain areas especially around the neck and the remember how we had to shave it last time it was so bad well then it's hard to grow out because then it's gonna grow out uh, tangled up because it's short hair mixed with long hair what else is the short hair gonna do it's gonna just move around with the long hair so you'll shave like the back of the dog's ears, right, when they're matted? Well, it'll never grow out. It, you'll, you'll come in the next month and you have to shave it again because now you have to babysit that hair growing out to make it come back out long. But usually, if, you know what I'm talking about because there'll be dogs like that when I worked at PetSmart. Always come in with the little mats behind the ears. Always shave them out every time. It's best is to demat that and like help it grow longer and then tell the pet parent to brush it in between so that it doesn't get bad. This right here, because of the ear infection and that waxy fluid, if you've ever had a dog ear infection, you're going to know you have to put this stuff in there from a veterinarian. It gets all in the hair. It makes it all clumpy. And look at it now. It's been a, it made it a disaster over here. It's overwhelming, it really is. You just gotta go little by little and do the best you can <clears throat> quickly. Or you'll be here for three hours. Okay. Now see how I'm working that ear totally by itself.
Yeah, so, right here behind the ear. You don't want to, it's very sensitive skin there. So just break this up right here with the D-map, D-map breaker. And try to keep my brush off of his ear in that area because it's all little tiny curls and tangles, right? All right, looking good. I know it looks like a disaster still, but it's not matted anymore. It's another way to clean your brush because it can spike you and hurt you. Your fingertips go inside your fingernail. That's happened to me before. Okay. Now let's check out the front of your head here. Let me see. There you go. I'm going to have you look down now. There you go. Look down. Good. <laughs> Man, you're such a good boy. You're such a... Let me see you have a look up. All right, now I gotta reposition myself, do this ear. Last thing to do, and then we could do a little trim, 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 and then we'll do a bath, okay? Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, we're gonna work this ear. Let's check it here, uh, uh, let me see. Nope, let me see, please. Oh, that's static. Leave-in conditioner, please. Thank you. Can you pass that for me? Thanks. Appreciate you. <laughs> you have some fun, right? He is such a good boy. Seriously. Except for the bath. There's a, there's a part of him when it comes to that bath, man. Something He lets something out. Those of you guys watching him, you know, for all these years, we're all going to see as he gets older, if the temperament changes, like where he, one day he just, you know what I'm saying? Where he just says, you know what? I've been brushed for like 16 years. I am done. I, I'm going to wonder about it. I'm wondering about it, how it's going to happen. Because I have seen that happen where it finally, you know. He gets irritated enough where he says, look, I, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see if it does happen, and we'll know. Isn't it cool, like, if you're able to groom the same dog for, like, however many years? Fifteen years, you were the same groomer? That's the way to go right there. Because then that dog, remember, like, Charlie or what some other dogs that have gone blind? Now they know your smell, your sound. They know what's going on. What's some other dogs I groomed that? I'm really grateful that I've been grooming them since they were young. Max, that little uh, Chihuahua mix white dog, he sh gets shaved once a year. They've been coming to me since like almost when I started grooming. Abby, Emma. I can't believe how um, those two Shih Tzus, one's black and white, the other one's kind of black, white, brown. They've been coming to me since I started grooming almost. Okay. Now, when you have a dog come in for grooming and they had, they're, at, they're visiting the veterinary and they're doing their ear stuff, I leave the ears alone. Just stay out of the ears. Don't put any chemicals in there and mess up their regimen. That's just me. You can clean them if you want, but when someone says, Dee Dee, we're doing an ear infection, I just leave it alone. 
Oh, that's, I'm glad I went back and checked this. Let's do a check with the comb here. On the edges of the ear, even though there's long hair, that's still gonna, that waxy stuff's still gonna get bunched up in there. So make sure you really get that good because next time around, let's double check here too. Next time he comes in, we don't want it to be doubled up, matted, you know, because we missed it, you know what I mean? Call that static. <laughs> We talked about static, but right right now I'm not going to go get those dryer sheets. Like I can't. Okay. All right. Now let's get the arm put back in so I can mess with that with the groom loop. All right. Let's see here. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you guys go early. How many of there are you out there watching anyway? I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to do his bath dry, and then I'm going to finish up Saki maybe on a different feed. We'll come back and finish up Saki together late in an hour. So I just want to say thanks a lot for being here. I want to go live with you guys for a little while and say hi. I love you guys. Let you know I missed you. Let you know I care about you. And I'm thinking about you. And uh, we'll finish up a couple different things here, and then I'll say goodbye to you guys and come back in about an hour with Saki. Okay? So what I'm going to do is sanitary with the Tim Blade here. Thank you. You know what we need to do is we go up. I like to hollow all that out. I don't know about you, but I love to hollow it out, okay? Okay, look forward. Don't come around. Come here, look forward. Do the sanitary. Oh, don't go anywhere yet. Lift your tail. Here we go. Lift your tail up. Okay. You just always want to look at me, huh? You want to look at me? You guys, can you see everything? Okay. Is it? Is that your pet? Is that your pet watching? You gotta send me a video or a clip or a picture. I'm trying to c accumulate pets watching Dee Dee compilation. Turn around. Come in here and do the pads with the 40 blade. If you don't know how to do that, you're gonna you're missing out, man. Okay, you see this one? Thank you. See how you handed it to me? So smart. So smart. Good boy. Turn your clipper around. I'm digging there's a little bit of something, something in there. Oh, don't get mad at me. There you go. Hold on. A little bit more. Yeah, we got all that out. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, Matt. Yay! You wagging your tail. That's a good boy. One more, Paul. This one. I gotta do this one now. You know I can't do it that way. I gotta have you turn around. Come on, turn around. Oh, let me see here. Let me see. You wanna see it like that? Okay, here. Well, you wanted to turn around. Don't get upset. No, don't get upset with me. 
You see, let me look in there. You see? Oh yeah, see, I got that out now. Oh yeah, a little knot in there. There you go, good job. Okay, well done. All right, great. Got some of those knocked out of that. Great. Come over here. Let's trim your face a tad. Uh -huh. Yeah, buddy. Let's see. Just a little here. Right in here. Got some big eye boogers, man. Look at this big eye booger. You guys see that booger? Look at that booger, bro. Remember, we gotta come back here anyway, so. They like this kind of cleaned out. Not a lot, but. And I like all that cleaned out. So get your bubble tip here. Not all dogs gonna let you do it. You could just try, but if it's dangerous, you stay stay back. Let me see. Look up. You can see where it's, it's catching on the food. You can see it. So just take out what's what's catching in the mouth and on the food. He's on soft food, so it just gets up nasty and everything. You can see the ch color change, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're about ready for a dental, man. Good boy. You burped? Okay. Okay, buddy. Get everything sucked into the teeth. You want that stuff out. Let me see, look up. I'm going to show you his teeth in a minute. I wonder if they let her know that when she went in for her ear cleaning and all that. Get your face. Let me see this side. This side's not that bad. Let me see this one. Ooh. I don't know if that camera. This is a nice camera here. The one you guys are on. So I'm going to try to get you in there. Let's look. Okay, let's show them real fast here. Okay, hold on, let's show them. Let's show them what you got here. So that a groomer, you can kind of glance at that and say, hey, time for a dental cleaning soon, okay? Time for a dental cleaning, okay? You see, one more time. I know, I know. We're going to leave the feet on this. See it? Good boy, Max. Good boy. They need to know, right? They need to know what to look for. Yes, they do. All righty. Make sure you price out your dental cleanings. Ask them a bunch of questions. And check with three or four different veterinarians before you make a decision. And um, we're going to go to the bath. So... Thanks a lot for watching us live with the Catan de Tulier called Max. 
He's such a treasure. You're such a treasure. Mom's watching, maybe? Is mom watching, maybe? My mom might be watching. The mats weren't too bad. We had some major matting underneath the chin and around the ears, but now we know why. You know, you were out of town and stuff like that, obviously. But the ear infection situation helped it uh, get matted there with the chemicals. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you uh, support us by shopping at myfavoritegroomer.com. You can pick up your dog upstand tools at dogupstand.com. And uh, the Andes 5 speed, we use a 10 blade, we use a 40 blade, we used a large slicker brush. Well, it's a bristle brush. Uh, and uh, the aluminum comb I used, a 10 inch aluminum comb. What else did we use? Huh? We used uh, 6.5, 6, 6 inch uh, bubble tip shears and the 8.5s to do around the eyes. So if you need any of those tools, I'd love for you to support us at myfavoritegroomer.com or get your oregano, your on guard, your diffuser, get all those things so you can prepare not to get sick. In my opinion, that's what I do. I use some of these oils that really help. All right, I love you guys and watch for the next feed in about an hour or so after we get done finally with him, we'll come back with Saki for just a few minutes. Yeah, you want to? Want to come back in about an hour? All right, we'll see you soon. We'll talk to you later. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.